Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my Wonderland Dreams card review for Shadowverse. I'm Haven, and I'm wearing a green shirt in front of a green screen so it can match the theme of the expansion. So before we get into the review, I wanted to explain my rating system. I honestly had all 104 cards rated, but thought it'd be a great idea if we only did the best of the best cards. Four and five stars only. If the card gets a four, that means it will most likely see play, and it's just a strong card in general. If the card gets a five, that means it will see play, and it's overall a very strong card. Head and shoulders above the rest of the expansion. Now, I will mention there are four minus and four pluses. What that means is that if it's a plus, I could be underrating the card. Minus means I may be giving it too much credit. There were a lot of three pluses in my ratings, but we're only mentioning the top 23 cards from Wonderland Dreams. So let's begin. The first card we're gonna be mentioning is the main character herself. Alice Wonderland Explorer. She is a neutral legendary. 4 3 4. So, 4 play points, 3 attack, 4 defense. Her fanfare. So, when she comes on board, give 1 plus 1 plus 1 to all other allied neutral followers in your hand and in play. I think she's a strong card personally. When I first saw her, I was very excited. I'm, I'm just a big fan of changing the stats of uh, different cards, buffing them, you know, subtracting. I like her stat line, 4-3-4, four, four. Uh, she evolves, she still gets a plus 2, plus 2. She also buffs the cards in your hand and the ones in play, so I think that's strong. She's going to be a staple in neutral decks, but other than that, you're going to need um, Into the Looking Glass to make her uh, viable in other decks. You can kind of throw her in there and just try to make something happen. I have to give this card 4 stars out of 5. The next card we have here is Big Knuckle Bodyguard. Bloodcraft Bronze. So, his fanfare, destroy an enemy follower with 3 defense or less. Deal 2 damage to your leader if vengeance is not active for you. So this card is kind of crazy. Um, his stat line is, it's okay, it's solid, 4-3-4, four, four, kind of basic. But the fact that it destroys an enemy follower with 3 defense or less, that means if your enemy evolves a, a follower and then he trades into one of yours, this guy automatically just comes down and kills it. He evolves, he still gets the plus two, plus two stat line, and he trades into something else. This guy could potentially kill three people on his own. So this card is actually very strong, and I will give this, for a bronze, it's actually kind of crazy, four stars. Big Knuckle Bodyguard is very strong, and Blood pretty much picked up a nice four drop here. This one is Swordcraft. You have a Swordcraft Silver follower. Young Ogre Hunter Momo officer rush so she's a 3-2-2 with rush not bad clash gain bane until the end of the turn if the enemy follower has at least five attack i like this card this part about it is that when you play it late game it can just kill almost anything as long as it has five attack and it kind of acts like scyther for dragon so i think she's very strong in sword and i'll be i'm a little excited to play her as a silver so i gotta give her a nice four stars solid overall solid card and i'm really glad sword is getting some some rush followers that can actually trade up to other uh, to other followers and um we're gonna see actually a good amount of sword craft that i'm excited about besides blood blood is getting crazy but anyway next card so next card we got is dark alice for shadow craft very strong card so she's a 755 legendary last words banish all Allied Shadowcraft cards in play and summon Dark Alice. So she pretty much dies and she comes back. She reincarnates. Kind of like uh, Mordecai. At the, at the start of your next turn, banish all Shadowcraft cards in your hand and your deck. So you can either build a full neutral deck with Dark Alice in it and it'll be strong. Or you can build a Shadowcraft deck, half shadow, half neutral kind of. You have to find like a balance. But then like you could just drop her late game and then when she dies she just gets rid of all the useless cards in the deck and draw out your very strong neutrals late game like is for phil if you want to play her or uh you know some some crazy new neutral cards that you want i think she's very strong and we're gonna see a good amount of play from her i it was a little hard to evaluate her but not really this is gonna be the first four plus see how see see how that extra so it's gonna be four plus because Maybe she's stronger than I think, or maybe she's not. I was thinking about giving her a fourth flat, but I'm, I'm going to give her a fourth plus. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. But yeah, Dark Goddess is going to be very strong. Next card. So we have another Shadowcraft card here. Gold, Dead, Moros. 557. 
crazy stat line. Like, that alone is already a 4, right? Then the fanfare? Destroy all other allied shadowcraft followers. Restore X defense to your leader. X equals the number of followers destroyed by this effect. So honestly, <laughs> even if it didn't have an effect, this card is very strong. It's a 5-5-7 five, five, that evolves to a 7-9 on turn 5. Like, on turn 5, you're going to have the evolution point. You're going to evolve this. And it's going to eat like 2-3 followers alone. Like, this guy, this guy is pretty insane. Like, I think this card is very strong. And if you get at least 1 or 2 hitting from this guy, that's just crazy value. That's like a legendary worth in value almost. If you get at least 3 to 4 healing. I doubt it's gonna happen maybe you know with uh prince catacomb maybe we can make it happen but still I, th I i think this card is very strong and we'll see play i'm gonna give it four stars very strong card for shadow so far they already have two fours well a four plus and four but uh, i'm pretty sure there's some more so our next card here one of the cards that i'm most excited for i love the art queen of the dread sea neutral legendary just look at the art like it matches the border of a legendary card. I want to see this animated. Like, I'm just going to... Uh, I think this card is very strong. This is going to be... Uh, let me just read it first. So, fanfare. Immediate effect. Change the cost of a neutral card, excluding herself, Queen of the Dread Sea, and a non-neutral card in your hand to zero. Then discard all other cards in your hand. Uh, combo anyone? The first thing you think are of combos, right? but it could be used in another way like let's say you only have three cards in your hand and two of them are pretty crazy one neutral one shadow or or one dragon whatever you're gonna play here and you're gonna have two zero cost cards that you get to mix in with other cards in your deck that you're gonna top deck eventually the dream with this card that i want to pull off on stream twitch.tv slash haven i'm gonna have her in hand ouroboros and prince of darkness after playing prince of darkness i'm hoping to get the one card that costs 10 uh Azeroth's reckoning Deal damage to enemy leader until their defense drops to one. Then you oral face. Bada bing, bada boo. So you play Queen of the Dread Sea. <laughs> discount Astros Reckoning to one. I mean zero. Then discount Ouroboros to zero. And then that's pretty much no TK. You play Astros Reckoning, put him to one, Ouroboros face for three, and you win. We're gonna try to pull that off on stream. It's gonna be very exciting. I can't wait to upload the video of that because it will happen. We're gonna make it happen. Very excited about this card. And this will be the first card that I will give five stars. This card is ridiculously strong and I can't wait to see what people come up with in the upcoming weeks, months, years, decades. All right, so the next card we have is for blood. Gold, Emerald Demonic Officer, 745. A little weak on the stats, but strong effect. Fanfare, destroy an enemy follower or amulet. The whole, the amulet is just, adding the amulet is crazy. Gain Storm, Avengers is active for you. I'd rather have her than Alucard, because you're kind of, you're, you're trying not to heal, and he's 4-4 four, four with Rush, and he doesn't really do anything else besides heal. And you, as Vengeance Blood, you really don't want to heal. So Emerald is kind of, I think she's gonna replace um, Alucard as far as that goes. Very strong effect. And for that, I'm gonna give her a solid four to five stars for this card. Blood is looking very strong, especially with, uh, I'm pretty sure there's one or two more cards that I have for them. So the next card, we have another Blood. We have a silver 545 Bandersnatch Rush Enhance 7. So it already just has Rush. That's a that's pretty solid, right? I like that. Four, five, four, five rush. You don't have to evolve it, and it still trades into another uh, follower. Enhance seven. Gain last words. At the start of your next turn, put a follower that costs at least six play points from your deck into play. The reason this guy is here, he's very solid. Rush is already very good. Enhance seven. Gain last words. The fact that he replaces himself after he dies with a stronger card from your deck, I really like that. The only problem is. You kind of want to get the fanfare and the value from cards in your deck, right? That cost six play points or... Uh, actually, it has to cost exactly six. It's very interesting. I like this card. I think it's very strong. I'm going to give it a solid four to five stars. I'm telling you, man. Blood is looking crazy. All right, so here we have Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Even though I'm not a big Forcecraft fan, I really like this card. You know, Beauty and the Beast. You know, as a kid, we grew up watching six, five, six pretty all right stats they're good they're all around solid forest craft legendary fanfare 
gain plus two plus two if you have at least five cards in your hand. Not that hard for forest. Gain resistance to damage and destruction from spells and effects if you have at least three neutral cards in your hand. Is that even that hard to pull off? Not really. When you evolve it, it still gets the plus two plus two stat line. So if you get the effect, it's already a seven eight, and then you evolve it, then it's a nine ten for six. That it is resistant to damage and destruction from spells and effect. This card is very very strong, and if you get it off every single time, this is one of the most broken cards of the expansion. Like it's it's just. It has a lot of value to it. And if you get it all three times in one game, I don't see how the other guy can win. I'm going to give this card a 5 out of 5. 5 stars. Second 5 star of the expansion so far. This card is ridiculously strong. And I can't wait to see this being played in Forest Craft. So the next card is White Ridge Swordsman. Oh man, I'm excited for this. So White Ridge Swordsman. Gold. 5-3-4. Weak stats, but the effect is pretty insane so it has bane and ward bane when when you hit another follower it instantly dies no matter how much health it has then ward is just taunt so then when you when you evolve it that's where it gets crazy bane ward whenever this follower attacks an enemy follower destroy the enemy follower before it can deal any damage in return so it has the medusa effect this card is the trading master of sword like this guy is going to be running almost every mid-range to control deck most likely this guy is very strong and for that as a golden officer i'm giving this card four stars very strong card i'm excited to see it play so next we have fairy dragon two zero four legendary for forest crap card ward fanfare at x to this followers attack this value equals the number of allied fairies that have been destroyed during this match by turn two you've either had one fairy die or zero fairies die right so you're not gonna play this in one four even though it's pretty strong as a two drop and when you evolve it it's a two six without the fairy edition without the deaths of the fairies you know and the art is just beautiful this is my this is the first time i've seen an evil it looks amazing i really like this card and i'm going to give it four stars very strong card and i can't wait to see it played the next card we have here is our first runecraft card golden phallus or felice Leonardian is it Leonardian? Yeah, Leonardian Mage. <laughs> Five three six. Weird stat line. Very strong effect. Fanfare. Deal X damage to the enemy follower. To an enemy follower. X equals the number of neutral cards in your hand. Enhance seven. Then evolve this follower. When it evolves, it has storm, which means it can go directly to the leader or it can just trade into another follower. And when you evolve it, it's a four seven. I, I think it's strong. But it could be i could be overrating it as well it could be a little weaker than this but i think it's strong at first i gave it a four minus it was gonna be our first four minus of uh, our review but i changed my mind i think it's a solid four stars this card is pretty strong and um you'll just have to make it work with the neutral cards but when you enhance it it, it has storm when you evolve it like and you don't have to use an evolution point it's an overall solid card so four stars all right, so the next card we have here is another Bloodcraft card. Very strong card here. Legendary, Bloodcraft, Spawn of the Abyss. This is the first time me seeing the evil. That shit looks scary. Ambush, scary, scary stats. Eight, six, seven with Ambush. If you evolve it, eight, nine. Whenever this follower attacks, deal six damage to the enemy leader if Ambush is active for this follower. So that means when you first attack with it, it deals 12 damage the following turn. When you play this, the next turn is going to deal 12 damage, no matter what. It's 100% dealing 6 damage, because the next effect is Last Words. Deal 6 damage to the enemy leader if Ambush is active for this follower. So let's say he has an answer. This card is still going to deal 6 guaranteed damage. And if you evolve it, for some reason, next turn, well, the, the turn you play it is going to deal guaranteed 8 damage. This could potentially just kill your opponent just outright. It's going to deal 16 damage next turn. This card is really scary. But there is one thing about this card. I think it's very expensive for blood. And for that, this is going to be the first four, actually second, four plus of the review. This next card is our first Havencraft card. And it is a legendary, Lion of the Golden City. Amazing art. This, this card is pretty sick. I can't wait to see this animated. Fanfare. So it's a 755. Mm, pretty weak. 
but fanfare put an amulet that costs five play points or less five play like that's a strong amulet of five from your hand into play then destroy that amulet whenever an ally neutral follower comes into play subtract one from this card's cost all right so at seven i i feel like you have to keep this card in your hand especially if you're playing like almost a full neutral deck or partially uh, neutral so you play just a couple neutrals you can play this on turn four but the fact that you need an amulet in your hand that kind of takes away from it but still like this card is very strong for the fact that you have to have so many things going for you, you have to have the neutrals you have to have the, the the amulet in your hand i'm giving it four stars overall very solid card and i can't wait to see this being played in haven so this next card is yet another bloodcraft card <laughs> oh bloodcraft Carabos or Carabos Wicked Fairy 666. Her effect is insane. Like, so she's a Bloodcraft Legendary. Fanfare for the remainder of this match, you will not gain a play point at the start of your turn. For the remainder of this match, draw a card and deal one damage to the enemy leader at the end of your turn. These effects will continue even if this follower leaves the area. Like, this is the first card of its kind where the second you play her, it just changes the whole vibe of the game. Like, it puts a time clock on your opponent. You're drawing two cards a turn as blood, just refueling that hand. And you also have a pretty strong, like, follower on board after you play this. And also, you can completely just build a deck around this. You really don't need anything above uh, six play points, honestly. But if you do, let's say you want to play Spawn of the Abyss, you can play this card just on turn eight. And then when you do draw him, you just play him outright. Like, this card is very, very strong. It's probably one of the strongest in the expansion. And I'm excited to see this being played. I may play it myself. I'm not a Blood fan, but I will try out Blood because all these very strong cards that are coming out for them. And this is going to be another 5 out of 5 stars. I'm giving this card 5. This card is insane and wicked fit. That curse that she put on, on Sleeping Beauty's uh, daughter, that's messed up too. But very strong card and I can't wait to see it being played. So this next card is probably one of the only spells that I will be reviewing. Console of Card Knights. Five play points for sword, gold. Summon a club soldier, a heart guardian, and a spade raider. So you're pretty much getting these tokens. Club soldier has storm, heart guardian with ward, and spade raider with bane. So the fact that you're getting three one threes, each one with different effects for five, that's just insane value you get nine play points from five drop this card is very strong and that's why i'm giving a solid four stars for this card all right so this next card we have is another swordcraft card a legendary officer hero of antiquity eight play point six ten evolved eight twelve looks like a hero like he belongs on my hero or something he has rush as well <laughs> like an eight drop six ten like those stats are crazy with rush i love it already can't be destroyed by spells and effects but it can be destroyed by damage from uh, effects or attacks so this card i may be overrating it maybe but i just love this card i love the art i think it's a very strong card I, I just love the cape to be honest that cape is sick but yeah and rush and it can't be destroyed by i think this guy is very strong i could be overrating it but maybe not that's why i'm giving it a solid four stars out of five I love this guy. I can't wait to play him in sword. So the next card we have here is Jabberwock for dragon. Finally, like, finally we got a one dragon card here in the list, dude. Eight seven seven, eh. nine nine when you evolve him. So Jabberwock, Dragoncraft Legendary. Fanfare, destroy all other allied followers. For each follower destroyed, put a random follower that costs more than the destroyed follower from your deck into play. So the problem here is you're either playing one or two followers per turn. And your opponent's probably dealing with them. If not, you could probably get one kill off with this. It'll be very rare if you get two kills from this. You could probably just play it at 877, but that would suck. That would feel really bad. So you're trying to at least get one guy from it. And it's going to be very hard as Dragon. But I'm still giving this guy a solid four stars. So the next card we have here is a neutral gold. Snow, White Cat, Sage. Fanfare, draw a card. And then give plus one, plus one to another allied follower. So the stat line is pretty bad. 5-3-4 isn't that great. 
but she does draw a card drawing a card is really good but if you also get the plus one plus one on another follower this card could potentially be very strong not five strong but i still think it's strong for a neutral follower at least so in a neutral deck i think she's gonna be played a lot in just normal neutral decks because you get she gives you that draw for alice and she also buffs another ally follower if it goes off it's gonna be four negative so i could be overrating her but i think she's gonna be pretty strong if you get the draw and the buff if you don't get the buff she's all right for the draw but not that great overall decent card this next card is for runecraft master mage levy master mage levy <laughs> this is kind of cool so runecraft gold 644 me but fanfare deal three damage to an enemy so levy is a 222 but you have to use an evolution point on them then use the spell that deals three damage which is crimson sorcery the plus about him is that crimson sorcery is a spell right so a spell boosts your entire hand so this is 644 deal three damage which is already solid i feel like that's solid you evolve him he's 666 but earth right deal three damage to all enemies instead that's what makes him a very strong card i'm giving it a solid four stars this card is all around solid i like it if you get the earth right effect off pretty insane so this next card is shield of flame for sword silver our second spell of the review two spells for sword shield of flame deal three damage to an enemy follower deal six instead if an allied follower with ambush is in play so this card could potentially be very strong and the art i gotta give it to our man it's ninja he has the whole naruto headband thing going on with his dog honestly this even looks like uh naruto's dad right i like this card a lot it's i think it's gonna replace soul sword swing we're gonna see but i'm giving this a four star minus i may be overrating the card but i still think it's a solid card and it's replacing a current card that's in the meta so that's the only reason i'm giving it a four but i'm also throwing the negative in because it may not be that insane but with the ambush if you get it off two to deal six pretty strong so this next card i had to go on twitter for it because it's it's fairly new they kind of released this card recently mr heinlein or heinlein shadow mage 656 runecraft silver ward fanfare so ward 656 that's pretty strong it's, it's very defensive i like it if there are cards in your hand that have been spell boosted fewer than five times spell boost those cards until they have been spell boosted a total of five times this card could potentially be very very strong um i think this is going to be in a lot of runecraft decks that they kind of want to have that board control as well and i like this card personally i don't play runecraft as much i used to just a little bit but i'm a big fan of this card it can be very very strong that effect is insane if you hit if you hit a fate's hand with this alone it becomes zero and you draw two cards for free like this card could be crazy i like this card i'm gonna give it a solid four stars so the last card that we have for the review number 23 is another blood phantom cat recently announced so kind of got this from twitter as well six five five all right fanfare draw two cards <laughs> that's already strong like six five five you draw two cards like you don't have to kill yourself just six five five you draw two deal two damage to the enemy leader for each neutral card drawn so if you're playing a really neutral eccentric blood crap which you're dealing four damage so you're drawing two cards six five five you're drawing two cards still getting the plus two plus two stat line for the evolution and you're dealing four damage potentially to the enemy leader like this card is very strong for this card i'm giving it a solid four stars for blood so a little overview i think blood is getting one of the strongest upgrades in the game with this expansion so i think blood is moving up big time but other than that i think dragon's gonna be there as well with the queen of the dread sea i think force is getting stronger almost every deck is getting very very strong like every deck is almost equally getting stronger but blood is ahead of the pack a little bit with haven and, and dragon as well so overall the top three classes i'm excited about for me i'm always gonna be excited about dragon so i'm, I'm a little biased but it's gonna be blood and sword on the side those two are the next two that i'm looking at like to be the next big thing like those those decks are going to be insane if you guys thought my ratings were a little off or you want to give a little input just comment down below make sure you like if you did like views the, the ratings that i gave just overall the video if you guys don't, haven't downloaded the game download the game it's for free you guys can get it on the phone and on steam 
they also uh, side games they're very generous with the way they do things so we're getting 10 packs of the new expansion when it first drops and if you get on right now well at any time you get 40 packs in total and if you do a couple missions you get like 50 60 card packs for free like why not play the game if you're into card games this is one of the most skillful card games that definitely recommend you guys get on and get this game if you guys enjoy the review make sure you like subscribe i'm gonna be doing more shadowverse content overwatch in the future and if you guys want to check out my stream i'm actually ranking up to master currently i'm double a zero which i recently got was just straight dragon you know strong. yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the review and i'll see you in the next one peace